All right, so what I thought I would do is uh, a video blog on my project Jeep. This is a uh, Vietnam era um, Kaiser Jeep M725. And um, I have a pretty extensive project to convert this into an expedition rig um, for the purpose of being self-contained to um, camp out on the beaches of Cape Cod. So uh, this is the vehicle. I've already started some work. Um, it's getting a Cummins diesel, um, uh, A518 automatic um, the overdrive. Axles are um, CUCV axles. So um, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of, of the project. This is where it's at. Um, the uh, the blue is, is painted um, because it's a... Uh, it went to Civil Air Patrol, and I, I purchased it in Connecticut. I believe this was in Rhode Island. Um, this is the uh, interior. Um, here we can see the data plates and gauges. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, bare bones here. Uh, remove these plates. There's the torque converter. The Cummins is already in, just. Uh, briefly but um, still got a, a lot of work to do um, to get this thing up and running um, so this is the interior um, and then there's a passageway door to the box in the back um, this is the ambulance so um, they certainly could uh, access the uh, patients in the back um, and that door slides over and slides shut um, so that's the uh, the interior um, here again is the motor uh, at this point I just basically have it in um, it's not you know I haven't really done much to it kind of is as is I purchased a 93 um, three-quarter ton Dodge and um, basically the automatic and the MP 205 transfer case are all you know from that that rig so you know a lot of work to do here still um, but this is it and then this is what it looks like from the front it's got the, uh, the old Rhino grill and you can see the uh, front axle is in this is a uh, Dana 60 and I changed it to spring over and um, this picture doesn't really show but this this thing is really high um, that's just a you know kind of a stock roller tire 32 inch and then in the back the current project is to raise the back to be equal with the front axle so the um, the shackle in the back has been flipped and the current project is to switch um, the post here and switch that around to to make the uh, the height in the rear equal with the front um, here is uh, the box in the back and uh, and I've already removed the upper uh, lighter racks and sold those um, to another um, person looking to restore a factory. So this has the original heater, uh, gas power heater in it. So we have that right there. Uh, I'm gonna keep that and see if I can uh, get that to work. Um, there's the controls for it, and then here is the uh, surgical lights. All this is the original uh, original stuff from the um, from the ambulance uh, it's got some vents um, so the vents circulate the air into the into the front uh, um, vents and there's a uh, there's motors in there so uh, so that's that's basically it um, in terms of the interior and the box um, the other interesting thing is the uh, um, the underneath that's kind of where I'm at right now so I'm just gonna pause it and restart okay so here we are underneath here you have the front axle and the, the motors in and uh, the um, interesting thing is that the um, the box on these was a contractor so Jeep didn't actually um, build the box um, that was sent sent out to a third party so this this portion here is the original floor from the factory and then the box starts here 
and so they did excellent rust proofing throughout this box so you can see the original um, is rusted here and I have some poor 15 to take care of that in the frame and everything but overall this is in great shape for being a 68 and so um, so currently I've uh, I've already used the whole saw and drilled around this post and I'm gonna flip this around so this post will be down here so I had to drill this out and then um, the plate on the outside that you saw and this one will be flipped around um, so here's the rear axle 14 bolt uh, it's got a Detroit in it for 56 gears and um, again really good shape especially the uh, the box here so the gas tank has been removed that's gonna go back um, and you know that's basically it so that's kind of where I'm at I'll have some uh, other updates once um, you know this thing uh, moves along so I'm gonna you know pour 15 a lot of this frame and take care of a lot of this and then you know slowly get the tranny in. all right we'll talk to you later